you, it, I call it the elephant man syndrome, right? You had this story of the elephant man who was this disfigured guy. He had this, you ever, ever seen this picture of his face and everything? Yeah. And there, uh, David Lynch made a movie about him. Mm-hmm. And he said, I am not an animal. You know, that was a famous line. And he was paraded around in a freak show. And event, you know, they paraded around at different circuses. And the left wants to take the elephant man of yes. our society and yes. say, this is now the standard of beauty because you've made fun of him and you put him on a freak show back in the day. Right? Yep. And the right, including so-called Christians and trads and everybody else, says, no, that man is a freak. Yep. Now, when I point this story out, it's effective because the right has been conditioned to still protect someone with that kind of a disfigurement like elephant, right? So they're like, no, of course you protect, right? But they've been, they've been trained because again, they react to the leaders of their (laughs) desires to, to do the same thing to other people who are obese or whatever, going through gender confusion or whatever. And they've been trained like Pavlovian dogs to react and say, ugly. Disgusting. Be beautiful. You know, and you're like, okay, well, you're not following Christ. Okay. You're part of the problem. Yeah. You're just as much of a blind idol, idolatrous person as the person that you're reacting to. Yeah. Okay. So the answer isn't to idolize Elephant Man as the new standard of beauty. That's what the left does. And the answer isn't to be like the right that says, no, that man's ugly. Put him in a freak show. The answer is to be like Christ, to love Elephant Man as a human being. 